Are you broke? God, bro. Oh, oh man, what the man. Do you wish to have any skin you want, like the Dragon Lord? Oh my god! Well, you're in luck today, because we will make our very own skin changer for CSGO. This application lets us pick a weapon, pick a skin, also choose the wear float, and then at the click of a button, it magically appears in game. This will work for any weapon and skin. Now, how does this work? Do you need an IQ of 92 to follow this video? No, just follow my lead and you should be okay. Also, the Discord server is linked if you're stuck or you just want to chat. Make sure to run CSGO in dash in secure mode. This will disable VAC and make it impossible for us to join VAC secure servers. For the first step, you will go to the GitHub link in the description and download this template I've made you guys. In it, stuff like my memory class and offsets are available. Here you can check by being alive in game and pressing the run button. It should return our health, but it, if it doesn't, we can easily fix it by pasting updated offsets from Hay Stumper. Before we start coding anything, we have to add some text boxes. These text boxes will hold the weapon ID, they will hold the skin ID, and the wear float value. Last of it, it will be a button which we click to apply the skin. That's it for the design part and inputs. Let's create our skin changer loop. In this method, we will read our free weapon slots which we get from the local player. We will retrieve information about each weapon, like where it is in the entity list and its pointer. But before we can change the skin, we will have to get the text box values. To get the correct skin for the correct weapon, we create this method. We loop for a list of stored inputs in the data type ids.saved. The idea is to loop through it and get the correct skin for the correct weapon. If there is none, we will return null and ignore it. Now that we have the desired skin, we will continue to make the apply skin function. This function will check the current skin ID and if it doesn't match our desired skin, we will proceed to write the new skin information to the weapon entity and force the game to update.
let's tie up our main method to use the newly created functions. To get the new skins into our saved list, we parse the text boxes under the button click event. For the last step, we will run the loop in a separate thread. Now we can check inside the game if it works. To get the specific IDs for skins and weapons, go check the IDs class. All skins in the game aren't added, so if you want more skins, then take a look in the description as well. They are past the weapon ID 9 and the Dragon Law skin has the number 344. For the last text box I'll just pick a low float, float number like 0 0.01. Now for the rest of the design and features are up to you. To get the drop down list like mine had just use a combo box and loop through the enums. If you are having problems then leave a comment or ask for help in the discord. See you guys later.